in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this adorable crocheted pumpkin. These things right here are some of my top market sellers at fall markets. And honestly, I can't even keep them stocked long enough to keep them on the shelves. That's how quick they sell. Bonus, they are super quick and easy to whip up, so they make the perfect market prep. Hey makers, my name is Cameron and like you, I run a crocheted business. Here on YouTube, I'm all about helping my fellow crochet business owners take that next step in their business and start making some serious money doing it. These pumpkins are the perfect fall item to sell at your craft show. They are seriously so fun to make and who else is obsessed with fall? Like, I'm obsessed with all things fall. Is that a crocheter thing? Let me know. Like this video if you're a crocheter and you're also obsessed with fall. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how to make this small size, but I also have available for free a downloadable PDF for the medium and large size of these. Aren't these so fun? And you definitely wanna get that PDF and make all three sizes because my customers love to buy these as sets and mix and match sizes and colors. And honestly, I don't blame them because look how adorable this is. You can grab that free PDF for all three sizes in the description box. All right, let's get started and make this adorable pumpkin. I have the exact list of materials that I used linked in the description box below. Let's get started with a chain of 12. Starting in the second chain from the hook, we're gonna single crochet all the way across this row. Chain one and turn. Working in the second row is gonna be our row of popcorn stitches. And for the rest of this pattern, we are gonna be working in that back loop only. So let's half double crochet in those first two stitches. Now we're gonna be working our first popcorn stitch. So we're gonna half double crochet three into the same stitch. There was one. Here I am doing the second half double crochet. And here's the third half double crochet in that same stitch, still working in that back loop only. We're gonna drop that loop that our hook was on and count back three to that first half double crochet we made into that stitch. We're gonna insert our hook into that stitch and pick up that dropped loop, pulling it through that stitch. To secure the popcorn, we're just gonna chain one. And you just completed your first popcorn stitch. I love the texture that this gives on the finished pumpkin. So for the rest of this row, we're gonna do one half double crochet in the next stitch, and then one popcorn in the next stitch until you have two stitches remaining. And we're just gonna half double crochet one into those last two stitches. You'll finish with four popcorn stitches across that row. We're gonna chain one and turn. This next row seems to be the trickiest row, working back into those popcorn stitches. We're just single crocheting in the back loop only across, but some of these stitches almost look like they should be stitches, but they're not. Anyways, I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about, but to be sure you stay on track, just make sure you're counting across the row. You should end with 11 single crochets across this row. So here in a second, I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. This is the top of that popcorn, and it looks almost like a stitch, but as you can see, it's not a super defined V, so just make sure you're working into this stitch, which is the correct stitch, that's more of that defined V stitch. And you'll get used to this the more you do them. For the next two rows, we're gonna repeat that row, so single crocheting in the back loop only. So you'll have a row of popcorns and then three rows of single crochet. So we're gonna do that repeat until we reach 20 rows. You're gonna end with a popcorn row and then two single crochet rows at the end. Folding your projects so the right sides face each other, we are going to seam together the sides using a slip stitch. When we get to the end, we're gonna chain one and start working around the bottom edge. What we're gonna do is single crochet 10 around and we're gonna try to place these evenly. It's a little bit tricky since we're working into past rows and not defined stitches, but about every other row will get you 10 evenly placed. We're gonna slip stitch with that first stitch, chain one, and we're gonna single crochet two together all the way around, ending with five stitches total.
finishing off that last row, we're just gonna slip stitch with the first stitch and leave about a two to three foot tail. Now we're gonna use our tapestry needle to close up the bottom. So we're just gonna take our needle and pick up that front loop only all the way around and pull it nice and tight. I take both of my tails and just tie a knot to secure that. We're gonna flip the pumpkin right side out and start filling it up with some polyfill. So I like to break up my polyfill a little bit before putting it in because it makes the pumpkin less lumpy. Now I'm gonna take that tail, that really long tail we left with the tapestry needle still attached and work around the top of the pumpkin here, going through every row back and forth and pulling that nice and tight. Instead of closing it all the way like we did the bottom, we're gonna leave a little bit of room to add our stem, which I'm using a little cinnamon stick. Now we're gonna take that tail and go in between those popcorn stitch rows, taking the tapestry needle, up through the bottom to the top where that cinnamon stick is and pulling it nice and tight. We're creating those sections that make this look even more like a pumpkin. It's just a super cute finishing touch. So I'm just working in between those popcorn rows all the way around. To finish this cutie off, we're going to take our tail down to the bottom. And I like just to tie a knot to secure it down here. You don't even have to weave in your ends with this project. You just take that tapestry needle, put it back into the pumpkin, pull it out wherever, and cut the tail that's left. And that's how I like to secure and finish off the pumpkin. Another super cute optional finishing touch you can add is a little bit of this faux suede and tie it into a bow. I've also used twine before and it's super cute, kind of gives that farmhouse vibe. It's just honestly the cutest little easy finishing touch. One more thing, if you are planning on selling these, I like to hot glue my stems in because a lot of my customers do like to pick these up by the stem. So that's a little tip for you guys if you are planning on selling them. Okay, you have to admit, your pumpkin is adorable, right? Like I said before, a lot of my customers at markets love to buy these in sets, so make sure you grab that free PDF down below because you're gonna wanna make these in all different sizes and colors. If you make one of these for yourself or make them just sell, please tag me on Instagram. I love seeing your finished creations. If we're not friends on Instagram yet, like what are we doing? <laughs> Let's be friends on Instagram so I can go show some love on your business page. I hope you enjoyed the video and I can't wait to see your guys' finished pumpkins. All right, I'll see you next week. Bye!